On a sunny Tuesday in Santa Monica, most tourists flock to the pier or take a stroll along the boardwalk. But a select few splinter off to catch a glimpse of a lesser known attraction a couple of blocks away, the Barbie House. It's hard to miss the striking structure but easy to see how it earned its nickname. Clad in vibrant shades of purple and pink, the home looks like a super-sized dollhouse. For years, rumors have even swirled that it was built for Barbie creator Ruth Pandor. Right next door stands the antidote for the home's saccharine display, a neighboring property painted entirely black. Angelinos call it the Batman House or the Marilyn Manson House. If the Barbie house is Dr. Jekyll, this is its hide. Google Maps identifies the two homes as the goth and bubblegum houses, and they've gone viral in recent years thanks to their stark contrast in style, which seemingly represent two ends of multiple spectrums. Cool vs. Crazy. Quiet vs. Loud. Minimalist vs. Maximalist. Seemingly every passerby identified with one over the other. I like the Barbie house because it just goes for it. It's flashy in a fun way, said Tori Breen, a tourist visiting from Iowa. I'm a little more laid back, said her friend Anna Swansby. I like the black one. Together, the homes have created an odd new Instagram destination, even if, or maybe because, their claim to fame is decidedly skin deep. Q Tired L. A joke. Popping up in tweets, Dick Tooks and even making a cameo in Grand Theft Auto V, the pair of properties found minor internet fame in 2015 after a Reddit post joked that the homes were owned by Barbie and Voldemort, according to Know Your Meme. The jokes haven't stopped since, with most memes using the houses to compare things with clashing appearances. So how did the two homes become so inextricably linked? By complete accident. In the 1990s, the duo was actually part of a trio called the Sherbet Homes, which got its name after a developer bought three neighboring properties along Pacific Coast Highway and painted them pastel shades. The first was painted baby blue, the second seafoam green and yellow, and the third was dolled up with a pink and purple Barbie look that remains today. The paint jobs were a product of the era, mirroring the vibrant pastel shades seen in sitcoms such as The Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Full House. It was never intended to be the Barbie house. It was just a fun Cape Cod style property, said WCI Group agent Jonathan Spiker, who knows the owners of the pink house and handled the sale of the black house in 2021. But over time, tastes change. In 2007, the baby blue house sold to a new owner who stripped the siding and painted it brown, casting the home back to anonymity.